everyone. Welcome back to Miss Shannon's Storytime. If you're new here, I welcome you too. It is that time of year where everyone is going back to school. So we are reading a back to school story today by Rosemary Wells, Timothy Goes to School. Timothy Goes to School by Rosemary Wells. Timothy's mother made him a brand new sunsuit for the first day of school. Hooray, said Timothy. Timothy went to school in his new sunsuit with his new book and his new pencil. Good morning, said Timothy. Good morning, said Mrs. Jenkins. Timothy, said Mrs. Jenkins, this is Claude. Claude, this is Timothy. I'm sure you'll be the best of friends. Hello, said Timothy. Nobody wears a sunsuit on the first day of school, said Claude. During playtime, Timothy hoped and hoped that Claude would fall into a puddle. But he didn't. When Timothy came home, his mother asked, how was school today? Nobody wears a sunsuit on the first day of school, said Timothy. I will make you a beautiful new jacket, said Timothy's mother. Timothy wore his new jacket the next day. Hello, said Timothy to Claude. You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Claude. All day, Timothy wanted and wanted Claude to make a mistake. But he didn't. When Timothy went home, his mother asked, How did it go? You're not supposed to wear party clothes on the second day of school, said Timothy. Don't worry, said Timothy's mother. Tomorrow, you just wear something in between, like everybody else. The next day, Timothy went to school in his favorite shirt. Look, said Timothy, you're wearing the same shirt as I am. No, said Claude, you're wearing the same shirt that I am. During lunch, Timothy wished and wished that Claude would have to eat all alone. But he didn't. After school, Timothy's mother could not find Timothy. Where are you? She called. I'm never going back to school, said Timothy. Why not? Called his mother. Because Claude is the smartest and the best at everything and he has all the friends, said Timothy. You'll feel better in your new football shirt, said Timothy's mother. Timothy did not feel better in his new football shirt. That morning, Claude played the saxophone. I can't stand it anymore, said a voice next to Timothy. It was Violet. You can't stand what? Timothy asked Violet. Grace. She sings, she dances, she counts up to a thousand, and she sits next to me. During playtime, Timothy and Violet 
stayed together. Violet said, I can't believe you're, you've been here all along. Will you come home and have cookies with me after school? Timothy asked. On the way home, Timothy and Violet laughed so much about Claude and Grace that they both got the hiccups. The end. Well, that was a fun little back to school story that has a couple of different lessons in it. I think one of the big lessons in this book about being around new classmates, old classmates, and you're young, you're wanting to feel that you're important or that you're included or that you are going to stand out just as much as somebody else. And we can feel that others appear to be smarter or may dress better. We may think that they're more talented at everything else like sports or music or doing their schoolwork so easily. So we take sometimes so much attention away from ourselves because we're wanting to be like someone else. And the important thing that happens is finding out that you don't have to be like everybody else and to feel included, you just need that one good friend to not necessarily just feel the same way that you do about other people, but to feel that you can be yourself and you don't have to be doing cartwheels and fancy ballet or sports moves or be the best in music or the smartest in the class to have a good time and to have a good time with a friend. I think it's important to be patient and understanding with yourself and the right friends will come along. Okay, everyone, have a wonderful day. Have fun back going back to school and I'm going to see if we have a few more back to school stories that we can read on this channel. Okay, everyone. Thank you.